no idea how to pose. Hey guys, recently I tried a nine day bodybuilding style cut. Uh, this would be used for a bodybuilding show or a photo shoot, basically to look your best at a certain time on a specific day. This is done through manipulating your macronutrients over the week. Uh, so there are two popular approaches. You can start at high carb and move to low carb, or you can start at very low carb and then on the last few days have high carb. Now you can't expect miracles in nine days. You should be almost there with your body fat levels and looking quite ripped already. This is just the icing on the cake, not the cake itself. Uh, before doing this, I'd been on a calorie deficit for nine weeks. Uh, and on the first day of the nine day cut, I was already 300 calories below maintenance. Here's how it looks in a graph. So let's start with fats, that's the red line. Uh, these bodybuilding diets encourage low fat intake during a peak week. Here I was aiming for 45 grams a day and then half that in the final three days to balance out the carbohydrates. Nine days out was effectively a normal day of eating for me. Uh, so fat comes down and carbohydrates come down too, which is in green. About 60 to 75 grams for four days, then right down to 10 grams for uh, four days out. In the final three days, the carbs come right back up again to uh, four grams per kilo body weight. So um, I was taking on 280 grams uh, three days in a row. And as I said, this is balanced with a lower fat intake. The final component is protein in blue. Uh, that's just there to balance your total calories. With low fat and low carb, that means to avoid starving yourself, you need a higher protein intake. And the target was 200 grams from days, from uh, eight days out to four days out. Uh, and then cutting it to around 100 grams in the final three days. If I put in calories divided by 10, so the scale works, so 2000 calories will come up as 200 on the scale. You can see it was around 1500 for the depletion phase and around 1800 a day at the end. Uh, if you're wondering what I ate four days out to only get 10 grams of carbs, the answer is fish, fish, uh, fish, fish, and then the fifth meal was uh, fish. One more graph before we get to the results. This is water and salt intake. I'd already decided to do a toned down version of the recommendation from the article, but after further reading during the week, uh, I almost scrapped it completely. It's supposedly an outdated method that's not backed by science and quite dangerous for your health. Uh, supposedly changing the sodium levels in your body will control water retention, which I did see to some extent. Uh, my normal day was three grams. The article suggested six to seven grams, if not more, and then a taper. Again, it seemed like overkill. So the only thing I did was to drop sodium slightly on the final few days. So here's how I looked over the nine days. Uh, I took a picture every morning and evening uh, under the same lighting and in the same position. Annoyingly, when we get to the final day, I couldn't stand in my usual top-down lighting location as it was midday and it wasn't dark enough in that room. So I had to make do with somewhere else. On the morning of the fake photo shoot, I'd woken up, uh, had quite a high salt breakfast as per the guidelines. And uh, then two hours later, I did a pump workout and took these pictures. It's hard to tell from the pictures, but for me, I felt really lean. Uh, I was maybe expecting deeper cuts in my abs, but uh, as I said, it's just the icing on the cake. So you're getting a polished version of your day one body. Uh, you're not magically turning into Brad Pitt. Was it worth it? Uh, for me, as, I, as an experience, I've always wanted to try it out, so I was quite happy to go through with it. Uh, it was quite sad to see that one of the first articles I found recommended this extremely high salt and water manipulation, uh, and it took further reading to realize that this was quite dangerous uh, and not recommended at all. Uh, honestly though, if I'd done my normal uh, 300 calories below maintenance um, program that I'd been doing, complete with uh, extra exercise, then I think I would have got similar results over the nine days compared to this kind of crazy routine. Obviously for bodybuilders, it's a competition, so you want every advantage possible, but for the average guy or girl, just doing a longer uh, mild term calorie deficit uh, will get you a better body. Uh, if you check out my video where I get abs in 10 weeks, you'll see that it's just slow and steady progress uh, there's no tricks, there's no magic or water manipulation. Uh, it's just a calorie deficit uh, and an increase in energy expenditure. Two quick things to finish. Uh, I weighed myself every morning and evening. Uh, you can see the carb depletion dropped my weight from 68.9 on day three 
steadily down to 67.4 at the end of my depletion. I actually lost more the next morning despite eating 280 grams of carbs. Uh, on the morning of my fake photo shoot, I weighed 67.7, meaning I was 1.2 kilos or two and a half pounds lighter than nine days previously. I'm just going to put calorie intake over the top. You can see again, the depletion phase was a lower total calories. Uh, and then the final three days were similar to my day one. Uh, workouts, nothing special. Fasted walking most mornings. Uh, three sets of five to eight on compound lifts. Uh, four days out, I did a circuit with four sets of 15 reps. Then during carb loading, you don't exercise at all because the idea is to replenish your muscles. Uh, and then the pump workout on the morning of uh, the photo shoot was uh, sets of 10, 12 to 15 reps. Thanks for watching guys. If you have any questions, stick them in the comments below. Uh, remember, if you're gonna try something like this, uh, do not follow the extreme recommendations for salt and water manipulation. It's outdated advice and it's not backed by science and it can be quite dangerous. Cheers.